Hello world! This is the video log for my addition to the International YouTube Space Station. The International YouTube Space Station, or IYSS, is a collaborative effort between multiple Kerbal Space Program YouTubers to build a space station in orbit around Kerbin together. The project was started by Ryan Turner, aka the Solo Gamer, and Try Dying to Live. And when I was invited to be a part of it, I was very excited, so of course I accepted. My addition to the station will be a so-called probe core. I wanted to add a docking hub with 0.625 meter docking ports so other players' probes could come and go to the station without a hitch. Of course, it'd be simply not nice to send it up empty, so I've included four probes pre-attached, free of charge. They're on the house. Getting the craft up into orbit proved not to be a problem. The module itself was pretty light, even though it's around 45 parts. Most of these parts belong to the four little probes, each with five to six parts, so that's probably why the part count got so high. At this point in the game, I'm pretty comfortable with the rendezvous procedure. If you aren't, I made a tutorial on it that you can check out, but here I'm taking a pretty weird transfer to get to the station. I'll be going above and past the station, and then coming back to meet it at a seemingly arbitrary point along its orbit. This transfer isn't as efficient as a normal helmet transfer, but to be honest, I'm too lazy to wait for the right moment. Because I took an inefficient transfer, matching the station's orbit took a bit more fuel than it had to, but my ship had plenty of it to get there, and rendezvous went without a problem. Docking, however, proved to be more difficult. As you can see, I'm getting quite a bit of frame rate lag. I am the 10th person to add on to the station, so it's probably somewhere around 500 parts or so by now. And I know what you're thinking, 500 parts? That ain't so much. Well, it is for me and my little MacBook, so don't judge. Now usually when I'm docking two spacecraft together, I'll align them along the normal and anti-normal vectors. However, the IYSS isn't aligned along anything. So my plan is to just get as close as possible to the docking port and just reorient myself when I get there. For most of the docking procedure, I'm only really looking at the nav ball, and holy guacamole, that docking arm came out of nowhere. Oh, oh wait, I'm good. Again, back to looking at the nav ball, and whoa, why is my ship shaking? Oh, oh, we docked! Awesome! <laughs> it's a bit off kilter, but eh, it'll be fine. Time for some victory laps around the planet. It's quite a beauty this station is. There's Ryan's core, TDTL's ISP module. Street Lamp Pro's docking arms, Scott Manley's super ridiculous hazmat lab makes up for most of the station's length, but it wouldn't be Scott Manley if it wasn't ridiculous. Speaking of ridiculous, the space station is white because of Itiyama's preposterously powerful lighting system. <laughs> I think Guard is going to be the next person to add on to the station, and knowing him, he's probably just going to crash into it and fail miserably. And then there's my little module. Hey, why not? Let's test out one of the probes I made. First things first, I just want to get it away from the station so I can play without the lag. These probes I made probably have around 400 meters per second in them, so we can't go that far. If we're lucky, maybe we can get to the moon, so let's do that. And look we are. <laughs> I ran out of fuel right as I got the orbit right. Phew. This is a free return trajectory, so now it's all left to do is to sit back and enjoy the ride. Hey, where's the moon? Oh, we passed it. Oh well. Back to Kerbin. Once again, I want to thank Ryan and Try Dying to Live for letting me be a part of this. And I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you out there.